Yo, 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 what up, players? So I'm here in the Stude Baker, and I figured I'd share a quick little video. Uh, I posted something last night on my Instagram, and some couple people were, you know, hitting me up, like, yo, what's up with those drum tones? And I had my buddy Johnny, you know, recording some mainline here. And, um, you know, I just figured I'd give you a little bit of a rundown of, like, how I'm monitoring drums and, like, what I'm doing and, you know, just print, print to tape or print, you know, in Pro Tools, what you're, what my clients and drummers here in the studio are listening to uh, while they're tracking drums and stuff like that. So let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's get nerdy. All right, so let's talk first uh, about um, the mic setup that we got going on here. So on the kick, there's a Sennheiser. You probably can't see it. It might be a little bit too dark, but inside there's a, uh, maybe you can see it right there in there on that pillow. So it's a Sennheiser E9 or something. It's basically that boundary kick drum condenser mic that they make. And then on the out, we have an Audix D6 and a Solomon Low Freck. And then on the toms right now, just for the sake of convenience, I was rocking the, the D2 on this rack. And then uh, over here, we have a D4 on the floor tom. And then on the snare, we got the Beta 57 with a little RLX foamy pad thing. Doesn't really do a whole lot, but whatevs. And then on the bottom, rocking the Audix i5. And the drum set, by the way, is a Orange County drum percussion that I refinished probably last month or something like that. Same thing uh, with the snare and stuff. And we got over here, we got uh, some AKG C414s as overheads. And then if we go out here very quick, I'm using uh, Warm Audio WA87 set in the omnidirectional pattern for my room sound. And all of that is going into this little patch bay thing that I made. Uh, you know, and I have labeled here all my preamps and all that stuff. So we got the three kicks. I'll show, let's go into the control room very quick, actually. And so it might be a little bit of a mess here. Sorry for that. But so my three kicks are going into the audience up here. Uh, obviously that Sennheiser since the condenser needs, you know, phantom power. Then I have the Audix D6 right here, the Solomon Lofrec right here. Then I'm rocking my floor tom and, sorry, my rack tom and my floor tom in channel five, 4 and 5 of the audience. In 6 I have my room. In 7 and 8 I have my overheads and I use this Art Tube, tube Opto 8 or something. Uh, preamp for, uh, for my snare, I really like it because I can actually control the output of it so I can like crank up the gain a little bit more and distort the snare a little bit. And, and that's pretty much it. All of that, you know, is then later going into the antelope over here. And I'm using some of the, the effects. We'll see how, how good we can check this out very quick. But uh, very quick, I'm just, you know, routing all those preamps. Oh, there we go. Routing all those preamps into the AFX chains and pretty much have the same process in a lot of my kicks. Some gentle EQ in and then some compression. Uh, then my snares are the same thing and I already have the phase uh, reversed on the art right here if you can see it. And let's check out what else we got here. Uh, Audient 4, you know, this is the processing on the toms using an SSL and all that fancy stuff. Uh, here's my room cutting some of that low end out. Oh, sorry. Now you can see it. Here's that room cutting some of that low end out. Here's the uh, SSL stuff that I'm using on the toms. And then I have my rooms here. Uh, room, sorry. Overheads just daisy chained and straight to it. And then I pretty much route this to uh, the main mixer and I send that through the headphone out with a headphone extender though to my drummer. And that's how we do it here. I think it sounds pretty baller, you know? Man, gives plenty of room to later hit the mix and stuff like that. But anyways, figured I'd give you guys an update and all that stuff, just, you know, show you a little bit of the drum tones that you can get with the antelope and stuff. And see you on the next one.
Catch you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, you know, comment, let's debate, let's talk, you know. Let's do all that good stuff. All right, take it easy.